This patient is in good general health, but suffering from severe periodontitis. He received prophylaxis, including instructions in oral hygiene, scaling and professional tooth cleaning. In order to continue with periodontal therapy, areas with mucogingival problems need to be corrected. In this patient, an adequate band of keratinized tissue is necessary in the lower front, as you can see from the measurements with a periodontal probe, especially on the lower right incisors. Rational for the surgery is a gain of keratinized tissue in areas with deep pocketing for vestibular depth, stability of the tissues, and for oral hygiene control. Any mobility of the mucosa is going to compromise a successful periodontal healing process. In this case, no preoperative medication was needed. Following administration of local anesthesia with articaine, the surgery starts with a horizontal incision just beyond the mucogingival junction. It is important that a minimal band of keratinized tissue is present in the treated site or in the surrounding tissues. A split thickness flap is prepared and care has to be taken not to cut through the periosteum. We proceed downwards until it is possible to move the flap passively in an apical position. To permit the apical advancement of the flap, Eventually, some muscle insertions have to be eliminated. The blunt dissection is extended laterally to such an extent that the flap stays tension-free when positioned apically to the level of the desired width of keratinized gingiva. In the area where we want a gain of keratinized tissue, an intact periosteum needs to be maintained to protect the underlying bone in the recipient bed for better healing of MOOC graft matrix when positioned later on. After final preparation of the flap, measurements of the recipient bed are taken with a periodontal probe. In this case, we need a graft or matrix size of 15 mm long and 7 mm for the depth of the vestibule. Precise trimming of MOOC graft is important to avoid tension when suturing the device. The sterile double packed mucograft package is opened, the matrix transferred to a sterile tray and trimmed to the appropriate size in dry state. Mucograft is a three dimensional collagen matrix of porcine origin serving as a soft tissue substitute. Using this surgical technique, we are expecting to obtain a clinically sufficient width of newly formed keratinized gingiva. It is also expected to achieve an aesthetic outcome, less patient morbidity and less costs compared to the treatment with the free connective tissue graft.
Buco graft is placed on the prepared periostal bed with the smooth surface facing the oral cavity and the porous surface facing bone and periosteum. The matrix is fixed to the small coronal band of keratinized tissue and to the periosteum and, if necessary, to the surrounding soft tissues with non-resorbable, non-irritating 6O interrupted sutures. Complete penetration of the matrix by blood and exudates allows perfect adhesion of the device.